Here we are again, staring down two of the most compelling processors you can find in a laptop today. AMD's Ryzen 7 8845HS and Intel's Core i7-14700HX. On the surface, it's just another red versus blue matchup, but looking closer reveals something more interesting. Choosing between them isn't about picking a winner. It's about deciding which philosophy aligns with the work you do and the life you live. So let's cut through the marketing noise and figure out which of these silicon beasts is right for you. The contenders. Let me introduce our two fighters. In the red corner, we have the AMD Ryzen 7 8845HS. Think of this as the modern athlete. It's built on a sophisticated 4NM process, a marvel of manufacturing that allows it to pack a serious punch while sipping power. It fields eight high-performance Zen 4 cores and 16 threads, capable of boosting up to a speedy 5.1 GHz. But its secret weapon isn't just the CPU cores, it's the integrated Radeon 780M graphics, arguably the most powerful onboard graphics solution ever put into a laptop chip. This processor is designed for the premium thin and light category, promising all-day battery life without forcing you to compromise on performance. It's AMD's vision of balanced, efficient power. In the blue corner stands the Intel Core i7-14700HX. If the Ryzen is an athlete, the i7 is a heavyweight power lifter. This chip isn't concerned with elegance or efficiency. Its purpose is pure, unadulterated performance. It's part of Intel's HX series, which are essentially desktop-class processors re-engineered to fit into beefy laptops. It boasts a staggering 20 cores and 28 threads. Here's how that breaks down. It has eight performance cores, P cores, that can rocket up to 5.5 gigahertz for the heavy lifting, and an additional 12 efficiency cores, E cores, to handle background tasks and multi-threaded mayhem. It's built on Intel's 10NM process and is designed to draw a ton of power to hit those speeds. This processor is the heart of desktop replacement machines, laptops that laugh at the idea of being away from a wall outlet for too long. It's Intel's statement that raw power still reigns supreme. Raw power and multi-core performance. When it comes to tasks that can use every single core you can throw at them, this isn't even a fair fight. The Intel Core i7-14700HX absolutely dominates. Let me explain why. Its hybrid architecture with 20 cores and 28 threads provides a massive surface area for complex software to spread its workload. Imagine you're a video editor rendering a 4K project in DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Premiere Pro. Each one of those cores gets to work, chewing through the timeline, processing effects, and encoding the final file. The i7's P cores handle the most intense calculations, while the E cores pitch in on the rest, resulting in render times that the Ryzen chip simply cannot match. The Ryzen 7 8845HS, with its 8 cores and 16 threads, is a very capable processor, don't get me wrong, it can handle these tasks competently, but it's like bringing a sports car to a tractor pull. The same logic applies to 3D artists working in Blender, architects compiling designs in AutoCAD, or software developers compiling massive code bases. These applications are built to be multi-threaded, and the more threads you have, the faster the work gets done. The i7-14700HX's substantial L3 cache of 33 megabytes also plays a huge role here, keeping more data close to the cores and reducing the time spent fetching information from slower system memory. So, if your livelihood depends on how quickly you can complete these specific, heavily parallelized tasks, the conversation pretty much ends here. The i7-14700HX provides a level of multi-core throughput that the more efficiency-focused 8845HS wasn't designed to compete with. The bottom line is, for workstation-level performance, Intel's brute force approach wins, and it wins by a lot. Single core and gaming prowess. Now, let's change the metric. What about tasks that don't care about your 20 cores? A lot of what we do on a computer, from browsing the web 
to using Microsoft Office, and critically, most video games, still rely heavily on the speed of a single core. Here's where the competition gets much, much tighter. The Intel i7 14700HX has a higher top speed, hitting that impressive 5.5 GHz on its P cores 0.5. This gives it a theoretical edge, and in some benchmarks, it does pull slightly ahead in single-threaded performance. That extra clock speed can make the system feel infinitesimally snappier when launching applications or performing simple actions. However, AMD Zen 4 architecture is incredibly efficient per clock cycle. The Ryzen 7 8845HS, boosting to 5.1 GHz, is right on Intel's heels. For practical purposes, the single core performance difference is often academic. You would be hard pressed to notice a meaningful difference between the two in day to day use. When it comes to gaming, assuming both laptops are equipped with the same powerful dedicated graphics card like an NVIDIA RTX 4070, the performance is nearly identical in most titles. While the i7 might eke out a few extra frames per second in some CPU-bound scenarios, the Ryzen is so competitive that the choice between them for a pure gaming machine often comes down to the laptop's price, cooling, and other features. The story here is that while Intel has the higher number on the box, AMD's architectural efficiency makes this a photo finish. Neither chip will be a bottleneck for a high-end gaming experience. Efficiency and the battery life question. This is where the entire narrative flips. The defining difference between these two processors isn't just performance, it's power consumption. The AMD Ryzen 7 8845HS is built on a 4 nanometer process and has a thermal design power TDP that ranges between 35 and 54 watts. This design is inherently efficient. It means the chip can deliver strong performance without generating excessive heat or draining the battery at an alarming rate. A laptop with an 8845HS can be thin, relatively quiet, and can realistically last through a day of classes or meetings without you frantically searching for a power outlet. It's a processor that understands it lives in a mobile device. The Intel Core i7 14700HX is the polar opposite. Its base power is 55 watts, but that's a misleading figure. To reach its peak performance, its maximum turbo power can soar up to a staggering 157 watts. That's more power than many desktop CPUs consume. This immense power draw has two major consequences. First, battery life is going to be poor, often measured in just a few hours, even during light use. Second, all that power becomes heat, which requires a massive, heavy cooling system with loud fans to dissipate. Laptops with the 14700HX are, by necessity, big, bulky, and heavy. They are portable workstations, not ultra-portables, so, here's what matters. If you value mobility and plan to use your laptop untethered, the Ryzen 7 8845HS is the only logical choice. The i7-14700HX is for people who move their desk from one location to another, but rarely stray far from a power source. The unsung hero, integrated graphics. There's one more crucial piece to this puzzle, and it's an area where AMD has a decisive, game-changing advantage. The Ryzen 7 8845HS includes the Radeon 780M, the best integrated GPU, iGPU, on the market by far. This isn't just a basic chip for putting an image on your screen. The 780M is powerful enough to run modern games like Baldur's Gate 3 or Cyberpunk 2077 at 1080p with low to medium settings, and achieve playable frame rates. It also provides excellent hardware acceleration for video playback and light creative work in applications like Adobe Photoshop. This completely transforms what a thin and light laptop can do, offering a genuine one device solution for students or casual gamers who don't want or can't afford a bulky laptop with a dedicated graphics card. The Intel Core i7 14700HX on the other hand, comes with basic Intel UHD graphics. To be blunt, it's not in the same league. Its purpose is to run your desktop and play videos, and that's about it. It will struggle with anything but the most basic, older games. 
This is an intentional design choice. Intel knows that any laptop carrying a 14700HX will, without question, also have a powerful dedicated GPU from NVIDIA or AMD. The iGPU is just there as a backup and to save power during non-intensive tasks. So if you're buying a laptop specifically for high-end gaming or content creation with a discrete GPU, this point is moot. But for anyone considering a more versatile all-in-one machine, the Ryzen's integrated graphics capabilities are a massive selling point that cannot be overstated. The bottom line, who wins for you? So after all that, which one do you buy? There's no single right answer, but there are clear profiles for each. You should get a laptop with the Intel Core i7-14700HX if you are a power user whose work involves heavy, multi-threaded applications. If you are a professional video editor, a 3D animator, a software engineer, or a data scientist who needs to render, compile, or process massive datasets as quickly as possible, the i7's core and thread advantage is undeniable. It will save you time, which is money. You understand that this performance comes at the cost of battery life and portability, and you're perfectly fine with having a powerful machine that stays plugged in at a desk most of the time. For you, the laptop is a transportable workstation, and peak performance is the only metric that truly matters. You should get a laptop with the AMD Ryzen 7 8845HS if you need a versatile, well-rounded machine. You are a student, a writer, a business professional, or a casual creator. You value a device that is responsive and powerful for everyday tasks, but can also last a full workday on a single charge. You want a laptop that's light enough to carry around without a second thought. Perhaps you enjoy some light gaming after work, but don't want the expense or bulk of a dedicated gaming rig. The Ryzen 7 8845HS offers that brilliant compromise, performance that is more than enough for the vast majority of users, combined with outstanding efficiency and a surprisingly potent integrated graphics chip. It's the smarter choice for a true do-it-all laptop.